Hey y'all, it's Summer from Hammond's Nest and I have a most precious craft to share with y'all today. So for this craft, let me show you what I'm gonna be using. I have some wooden beads, they're 10 millimeter sized. I have some copper wiring, which you could probably find like in the jewelry section. It's pretty pliable, it's pretty easy to work with. So that's very important, just that it fits through the hole of the wooden bead that you choose. Also some wire cutters to snip that wire pretty easy and some raffia raffia, whatever you say, <laughs> and some scissors. And lastly, for one final step towards the end, we'll be using a little bit of hot glue. So that's all you would need on hand to make this. The first step is going to be to measure your copper wiring. 14 inches long is what I chose to go with for this, and you'll need four pieces of it. Now we are making wooden bead corn decor. It is so cool how this came together. But let me show you how to get it all built and hopefully you can give it a try yourself. So you see me gathering those all and giving them a twist in the center. Now it's not permanently connecting them, but it's making it to where I'm going to be able to keep them together and lay them out like this to string the beads on each piece of wire. So I'll end up stringing beads on all eight sections that I've created by twisting the center together. And then it's time to grab your wooden beads. You'll need 12, if you use all of my measurements as I'm telling you, you'll need 12 beads for each section. So 12 times eight will be how many beads you need in entirety. And you just string those up like so. And you'll notice here in a minute, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna speed up me putting this. This is probably the longest part of the craft is stringing all these beads, but it really only took me a few minutes in real time. And after you do that, you'll see me bend the tips of the wire as I'm moving along here just to keep, I don't do it at first, but I'm gonna do it here in a minute and you'll see what I mean. Just to keep any of those beads from falling off while I'm working, loading up the beads on every section. It just really helps to make sure that you don't lose any of those beads. It's actually kind of therapeutic. I took a few runs on this, so I got to do this a few times. I was trying to get all the measurements just right to show y'all since didn't really have any two, true tutorials to go by, though I was inspired by an Indian corn plastic bead and pipe cleaner craft that I saw, but I really wanted to take it up a notch and dress it up a bit. While that was a really fun craft and super cute, these wooden beads just, I said, that would really look like corn. So let me try to give this a whirl. I love the copper accents, as you can see a little bit of that as I continue to tell you the instructions and then the raffia and the wood beads. You could paint the wood beads, that would look really cute too, but I'm keeping it all just the natural wood bead look here for this particular tutorial. So I hope that you like the look. So as I'm finishing up, you can see now what I'm talking about how I bent the tips of the wire. And I'm keeping my center here. So now that all the beads are on there, I'm keeping my center pushed down and I'm just gonna slowly pick up each section, gathering it in my hand. And remember this wire is super pliable, so you can move it about. It may not look like the corn in your hand right at first, but you'll see what I mean as we continue going along here. So I've got, got it all gathered and I'll be shaping it here in a minute. But I'm just getting it as tight as I can, pushing it down. And I'm showing you kind of what the bottom's gonna look like so you can see a little bit of that copper, which I think is so pretty. And then I'm gonna take one of the longer pieces. I'm kind of trying to figure out which one I wanna use. I'm gonna take one of the longer pieces that are sticking up and I'm actually gonna use that to wrap around and tighten up all the wire that is gathered together. So that means it's very secure and none of those pieces of wire are gonna go anywhere. So that's what you see me there doing. I'm just twisting that around the top making sure it's good and secure and giving you a close up there so you can see what it should look like at this point as you move around. Now don't spend too, too much time kind of shaping it and getting it to look, but you do want to make sure it's tight. We'll shape it later on. And then I found this was my favorite way. You may find another way to do it, but I bent down the wire in half what was left on top I liked having the extra wire to work with just for the length of making sure my bead stayed on. But then I snipped off the extra after folding it over. And this will just make sure that nobody has any sharp edges hanging down past the top of the corn there. If you can kind of see how this is coming together, 
um, this will be the top of the corn where I have the copper wire bunch. Now, I took an extra step here. You may not feel it's necessary, but I tied just a short piece of raffia on top and did like a wrapping technique and hot glued it down to cover up that wire. And we're going to add some more raffia as the embellishment on top, sort of like the husk after we're done wrapping this. But this just makes it to where it doesn't show through and take away from the husk. So that's that. Then another short little piece of wire. Go ahead and get that ready before you do your raffia. That's also going to be like your husk bundle. And I just took, I found the thickest raffia I could in my stash and just kind of went back and forth in my hand, not really trying to measure too much, but you'll see, like I said, what I'm going to end up doing with this. But you're bunching it up in your hands first to make sure you have enough. Can't really give you a good measurement here, but you can kind of see how much I'm holding in my hand. So if you make one this size, that should work for you. So I just kind of put that around the top, covering up what I had just, the raffia I had just glued around. I'm letting some hang down past the top because I feel like it looks a little natural. I like that. And then I'm taking that little piece of wire that I snipped and I'm going to get it really tight. I found that I really liked this little extra wire embellishment to kind of tie in to some of the copper that you can see running through the rest of the beads. And so once I get that tightened, now it's time to kind of shape it and snip some of the raffia. Like if it was doubled, you could snip some of the wild, wild stuff. And, and I've got some looped at the end that I'll snip. So this is just me kind of getting it all exactly how I envision. I want to leave it a little wild looking because I feel like, like I said, that looks a tad more natural to me. But, and this is the part where you could shape it. Like I said, you can easily stick your fingers in there and mold it. But keeping it tighter together and not having as much space really, I mean, look how cool that looks. I was just, I put it together um, a couple times before I was like, you know, I really like this. I settled on this wire. And I think having the right pliable wire is really the key here. And the size of the beads to make it look realistic like white corn. Well, this was just so much fun to make with y'all. Thank you for hanging out and watching. Remember to keep following Hammond's Nest for more creative ideas just like this. Bye, y'all.